Manoj Naya from the Gulf News Business Desk and I just have one question for you. Do you by any chance own a property in, uh, in the downtown? Think about it. If you do, then this one's for you. Last evening, Ima sent out a note saying that they are stopping all operators of holiday homes slash short-term rentals from operating or leasing out units within the downtown. Now, you may know that the downtown is one of the three most prominent destinations for short-term rentals and holiday homes in Dubai. And if you were to ask the pecking order, I would say it's right up there with the Palm and about Dubai Marina, but I could be wrong. But the fact of the matter is, downtown is hot as far as short-term rentals go. And there are a lot of investors who bought into downtown thinking that they can offer these properties up for short-term rentals, either to a business traveler wanting to stay for possibly three to five days, or somebody from anywhere in the world wanting to have a feel of Dubai, but want to do so in the confines of a high-rise cluster, which is what the downtown is. Now, why would Imar want to stop all these guys going through Airbnb, Booking.com, BNB, ME, or any of these sites and uh, saying that they don't want any more short-term rentals happening at the downtown. They have issued a statement through their community management team saying that the reason is they have had a lot of complaints from residents, the long, long term residents, those guys who are there for on, or, or either as owners of their own homes or the, those guys who take out one year leases. They say that they cannot share the same space with the guys coming in on short term rentals and uh, there's a lot of, uh, of movement, fluidity in terms of who your neighbors are. They don't know who the next door person is and every uh, second week or third week you see a new guy turn up at the neighbor's door. And the other part of it is that some of these guys, or most of these guys, would be using the, the swimming pool or the gym, and uh, it's causing a lot of rift within those people who are staying long term and those who are coming in just for those few days or weeks. Take a step back. Why did Imar decide to, you know, put a stop to this? Obviously, the, 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 the complaints from the residents would have, would have echoed strongly for them to come out with such a stringent decision and at a place where short-term rentals are going extremely well. And remember, in the last three years, a lot of investors would have bought into downtown, new launches, new apartments, just because they feel that as landlords, they can offer some of these units up into the short-term market. Because in the last two years, and especially in the last year, the short-term rental market where you put up your property as I said, for days or weeks uh, uh, to a wider audience, a global audience is carrying a lot of traction. It's building up to a nice momentum as far as uh, the wider property market is concerned. If there's one category that is doing extremely well in the property space, it is the short term slash holiday operations market. Now, those investors who bought in, uh, into the downtown right now would be feeling a lot as if they're being shortchanged. In a way, they are right. In many ways, they are right. Because you, you suddenly come across a decision from the master developer saying that, nope, you can't do it. And as far as the, these buyers are concerned, the worst part is they haven't been given enough lead time to make alternative choices or, or look at plan B. Because right now, all those people putting up their downtown units um, on short-term rentals have to cease and desist from doing so by the 19th of September. After that, it's no go. You cannot offer short-term rentals at the downtown beyond September 19. Imar has set up, laid out extremely strict requirements that, to prevent anyone from doing so. There's no question of an extension. Unless something breaks over the next 48 hours, you're looking at the September 19 deadline. So guys, it's time to have a plan B. However difficult that plan B might be, you have to come up with it. There's no point in saying that this is not what we bought in for. You have to look at an alternative. For more on this breaking story, please have a look at gulfnews.com.